are affected by smoke every morning uh, pretty heavily. Jason Kessling is the manager of the Harney County Soil and Water Conservation District, and he said the county has been turned upside down by wildfires. There's a lot of evacuations and stuff going on, a lot of smoke, a lot of uh, concern about what's just going on. It's only August, and Oregon has already seen more than 1.3 million acres go up in smoke. But why? What makes for such an active wildfire season? This year we kind of had the combination of a cooler, wetter spring that leads to a lot of the fine surface fuel buildup. That's John Bailey, a fire management professor at Oregon State. And while the cool, wet spring offers a partial answer, there are other forces at work too. The way we manage our forest is allowing these conditions to be able to um, foster and become these catastrophic um, fire. For thousands of years, indigenous people used prescribed burning to clear the landscape of fuels. But aggressive fire suppression over the last century has left our forests overloaded with dry timber. Attempting to do full suppression all the time, everywhere, just leaves all the fuel on the landscape. And if we don't substitute for the removal of that fuel, it's going to burn sooner or later. And then there's climate change, which has altered the way we think about fire season. And it's getting longer. Uh, and hotter and drier uh, with with climate change. In southern and central Oregon, the number of days per year that we see fire weather, hot and dry with strong winds, has increased by 23 since the early 70s. That's left us where we are today. I think the the level of this uh, forest fire that we've had is kind of unprecedented. But just because a problem is complex, that doesn't mean we should stop seeking solutions. We're all in this together. It's going to take all of us working on these complex problems. It's going to require complex solutions. Now, it's important to remember that things like climate change and forest management don't actually cause fires. Of the more than 1,200 fires that have started in Oregon this year, more than 70% were human-caused. So be careful with your cigarette butts. Don't park your car in dry grass and do everything you can to make sure you aren't the cause of the next big fire. Christine, David. Yeah, the vast majority of those fires, human caused, exactly. Thank you so much, Kale.